Faith Tabernacle Church of God, Leewood Highway Providence Ellis, presents the Victory in Christ broadcast with Reverend Dr. A.V. Butterfield. Oh, my comrades, see the signal waving in the sky.
name of the Lord. Sometime the race, hallelujah, looks so raging, rages, hallelujah. So fierce, the storms begin to glow, blow, and we feel like giving up. But hang in there, my sister and my brother. Hallelujah. Hang in there, my sister and my brother. Me, sometimes I get weary along this way. Hallelujah. But I know that the Lord, he will take me through and he's going to take us through. So hold on. Time won't be long. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to do our invocational prayer song. Congregational chant, that is, sorry. Set my spirit free. And those of you who haven't set your spirit free this morning, the time is now. You can let me go and let God have his way in your life this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. That when you leave this place, you will leave a changed person. You will leave the way you came. Praise the name of the Lord. And after that, Sister Janet Walters, she's going to come and take us to the throne of the grace and ask the Lord to have his way in our midst this morning. Set my spirit free. Set my spirit free that I may praise your name. And let deliverance flow Set my spirit free To worship thee Set my spirit free That I may worship thee Lord God, that you rid them of all diseases. 
circumstances, all their pain and their suffering, Heavenly Father. We have no one but you to call to this morning, Heavenly Father. No one. We could search toward eternity road, but there is no one like you, God. We praise you. We worship you because you are magnificent. You are the omnipotent God. You are a shepherd. You are Yahweh. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are our provider. Your strength is sufficient, Lord Jesus, for us, Heavenly Father. Oh, God, set our spirit free this morning. Each and every one of us are here this morning for a purpose, for a cause. But it's all because of you, Lord Jesus. You died on Calvary Cross. You rose. Lord Jesus, and you sit on the right hand of God. You look down on our knees. You know every heart of every man inside here this morning, Heavenly Father. We pray for those who are going to raid your land, Lord Jesus Christ. You know their problems. You know what they're going through. You know their distress. Oh God, we cling on to you. We praise you. We worship you. We glorify your name. We ask that you come into our hearts. We ask that you deliver us, Lord God. Forgive us for our sins that we have committed against you, Heavenly Father. Help us to walk in righteousness for righteousness' sake. Oh God, help us not to turn to the left nor on to the right, but walk in the straight and narrow, oh Heavenly Father. Help us to keep on to hold on to the breastplate of the Almighty God. To keep us on our spiritual journey. That we'll not grow weary, Lord Jesus, but that you straighten us, oh God, to carry on. Heavenly Father, set our spirit free this morning. Oh God, as we worship you in spirit and in truth, we are the branches and you are the vine. Rain on us, Lord Jesus. Rain on us this morning, oh God. We need your nourishment, Lord God. We need your word, Heavenly Father. We need your presence, Lord God. We need you, Lord. We need you this morning. We need you tomorrow and we need you forevermore. You're the same God that do it today and you do it again. You're the same God who do it back then and you do it today, Lord God. Because we call upon your name each and every day of our lives. We ask for your presence, oh God. Set our spirit free this morning to worship you, Lord God. To let go and let God take control. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Set my spirit free that I may worship King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. You may be seated. Right now we're going to have a public relations ministry coming before us to do the welcome, recognition, and announcements. Come on, let's put our hands together for Sister Sonia as she comes. Bless the name of the Lord. Good morning, church, and good morning to you who are listening by way of radio. If you're in the building this morning, I'm going to tell you, I came here for a reason. I know some of us can listen by way of radio, but I came with my buckets, anticipating to turn it up towards heaven because I came to receive from the Lord this morning. And sometimes as ladies, we're in different positions in life where sometimes we're pouring out. But this morning, I want you to wait and receive from the woman of God. Sister Butterfield has been away from us for a while, and she's here this morning, and I believe there's a reason she's here. So let's wait with anticipation to hear what we're going to receive from the Lord and be, you know, open to just take it in, whatever the Lord has for us this morning. It is my privilege this morning on behalf of the leadership here at Faith Tabernacle Church of God to welcome you here to Faith Tabernacle Church of God. If you're listening by way of radio, we're glad you're here. If you're via internet, we're glad you're able to tune in. But I want you in the building to just feel free, feel the liberty that is here in the presence of the Lord this morning. Our announcements um, for the week, 
is as follows. There's prayer meeting on Monday evening at 7.30. There's midday services. There's midday prayer meeting the weekdays except Monday and Wednesday at 12 to 1. There's Bible study on Wednesdays at 7.30 p.m. and evangelistic outreach on Thursdays at 5. Youth, meeting, youth meetings are on Thursdays at 7.30 p.m. and praise team rehearsal Saturdays at 6 p.m. There's Bible class on Sunday mornings scheduled for 9.45. God knows we need to keep trying to keep that scheduled time. And divine worship will be able to start at 11.30 a.m. Biblical conversations are usually on Sunday night at 7.30 p.m., but I notice in the program there will be no biblical conversation this evening, so you want to be reminded of that. The VBS starts tomorrow at 9 a.m. The bus picks up at 8 a.m. I'm going to say it again in case our young people are listening. The VBS starts tomorrow at 9 a.m., and the bus service starts at 8 a.m. So be ready so that everything can flow and be on time. Sister Maddie Taylor has been moderating this morning. We want you to remain in an attitude of prayer. And I honestly think that there is a word for us this morning. There is a word for us this morning. So let's stay in the attitude of prayer and expectancy so that we can hear what the Lord is saying from Minister Rosita Butterfield. And um, I also want you to remember, uh, I also want to remind you of the, um, to, to be in prayer for those that are sick and shut in, for the youth of the country, for those in authority, and that man everywhere may be saved. We share birthday and anniversary greetings with those who have celebrated this week or will be celebrating birthdays or anniversaries during the month of August, but we especially highlight Sister Peggy, all the way in the back, Sister Audrey Wilson, and Sister Maddie, who celebrated on the 10th. We want to also remember Sister Arlene. I don't see her in her usual position this morning, but wherever she is, if she's not tuned in, I'm sure her heart is in prayer with us this morning. Her birthday is on the 12th, so we celebrate those times. We say, God bless you. If you need church transportation, please call Pastor Kenneth, and the number is 342-8095. Be blessed as you enjoy the remaining of the service. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, Sister Sonia. And the VBS is the Vacation Bible School that starts tomorrow. So all the young children, all the, should I say what, 5 to 15 to 12, please don't have Pastor Kenneth waiting when the bus goes around. He starts at 8 o'clock sharp, and you must be ready if you need transportation. Let us pray for the Vacation Bible School that God will send workers into the vineyard to help out. Praise the name of the Lord because we have to train these young people for the Lord. Like Sister Butterfield says, training young champions for Christ. Because when I get off the scene, somebody needs to take my place. Because I tell you, I celebrated 60 years yesterday. 60 years yesterday. And Sister Audrey, I think she celebrated 64, and we had a grand time together yesterday. I want to give God thanks and praise. I feel like I'm 30, even though my knees are hurting, my teeth is giving problem. But I'm telling you, I don't feel no ways tired. Every time I feel like pressing on, it is now in the work of the Lord. My mind is made up. I don't mind what comes my way. I am determined to hold out to the end. And with Jesus, my hand in his hand, I know he's going to take me through. You pray my strength in the Lord as I start another year. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Right now, we're going to have a tithes and offering. And after we've done the tithes and offering, Sister IT is coming to pray God's blessing on the offering and the tithes. Would you stand while we sing the the hymn, we bring the sacrifices of praise. And you know the Lord has blessed us. Hallelujah. We were able to get up out of our beds on Monday morning. Straight up until yesterday and even this morning some people going to work. 
So the Lord has been good to us, so we ought to give him thanks and praise and return a portion of what he has blessed us with. Praise the name of the Lord. That's your, your job. That's your duty. Sacrifice of praise. Praise to the house of the Lord. We bring sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. And we offer up to you the sacrifice. Praise the name of the Lord. Sister Heidi, could you come and pray for the offering, please? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Father, we thank you. We thank you for this ability, O oh God, that you have given your people to give to you, O oh God. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you will receive this offering, Lord Jehovah. Bless it, O oh God. Sanctify it, O oh God. Let it be made acceptable in your sight, Jehovah our King. And Father, in return, bless everyone that has given, O oh God. And for that, those that don't have, have to give, O oh God, Father, I ask, Lord Jehovah, that you give them the ability again to be able to give to you. Bless this offering again, O oh God. Let it be used for the purpose, O oh God, of carrying your word forth in the earth. And after it, let it come back to you as a sweet smelling server in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank the Lord. Uh, praise the name of the Lord for the foregone part of the service, for everything that was done. Hallelujah. We trust it was done from every heart to the honor and the glory of God. Praise the name of the Lord. As we continue right now, the praise and worship is coming. The praise team. The word. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. We're going to leave the praise team for after the word. Praise the name of the Lord. And like Sister Sonia already said, the speaker this morning is going to be Sister Minister Rosita Butterfield. We haven't seen her for a few Sundays, and we know why, but we are glad that God has strengthened her this morning, that she can come to us and say, Thus saith the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us continue to pray for her, that God will use her. Praise the name of the Lord for his will and for his purpose in these last and evil days that we are living in. Praise the name of the Lord. And right now, could you stand please while I present to you Minister Rosita Butterfield with the word of the Lord. Please be in prayer for her at this time. Bless the name of the Lord. Minister Rosita Butterfield to the congregation and the congregation to Minister Butterfield. Bless the name. Thank you. You may be seated. The psalmist says, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes. David, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. Be in my, mouth. Yes, sir. my soul, my soul shall make her boast 
in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. This morning, it's because the blessing of the Lord and the mercies has been with me from the last time that I met here with you talking about heavenly things and sitting in heavenly places. Yes. But I promise to serve him even on broken pieces. And as my legs began to hurt this morning, I said, God, I must keep my promise. Yes. And I want to join in with a writer that says, I like to talk it all over with him. I want to thank all of you who moderated and who has helped us in the past year. And as we begin a new journey, I want to thank him for his mercies. And the writer, when he found himself in 1940, Luther G. Presley, he penned these words by saying, on some morning, when I stand in God's wonderful city, where the light of heaven's glory shall never grow dim. When I shake hands for the Savior who gave life eternal, he said, I like to talk it over with him. He said, I like to kneel down and talk it all over with him. I like to say, Lord, you love me when the path was so dim. I cannot repay him when I meet him in that city above. And this morning, it would be so nice when life troubles come upon us and we can, we felt, we feel like we cannot go any further, the thing to do is to do what? Kneel down and talk it all over with him. Brother Kalen. On some morning when I stand in God's wonderful city, where the light of heaven's glory shall never grow dim. When I shake hands with the Savior who gave life eternal, I like to talk it over with him. Yes, I like to kneel down and talk it all over with him. Yes, Lord. I like to say, Lord, you love me when the path was so dim. I can not repay him when I meet him in the city above. But I like to talk it over and thank him for his wonderful love. Number 42 on hymns of glory spread. With the million of redeemed one, I'm sure to be happy for it 
told a cup of gladness He'll fill to the brim But I know that I have brought him Some details of sorrow Help me sing it I like to talk it Amen to greet those in radio land if the radio station is on to let them know I'm still standing Amen. I'm still standing on the promises of God and this morning my topic is the Christian second childhood which is found in Mark chapter 10 verses 13 to 16 telling us to come as a little child the childlike spirit take up our cross and follow him this statement of Jesus denotes that there was a problem from the past and most often the problem of the present has its root cause in the past. Uh -huh. My text is, Ma, get your Bibles with me. Mark 13. Mark 10, 13 to 16. It says, it reads thus. When they brought little children to Jesus, that he might touch them. 
But the disciples rebuked those who brought them. But when Jesus saw it, he was greatly displeased and said to them, Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Amen. Assuredly, I say to you, whosoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will by no means enter. He took them up in his arms. He laid his hands on them and blessed them. Now as he was going out on the road, one came running, knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what shall I do that I might inherit eternal life? You bow your heads with me this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus, this morning we all come with different needs. We come as little children looking up to their parents. And God, we each have se separate needs this morning. And as Jesus stopped and found time to listen to the little children, so he is still the same today. For he says, he is the same today as he was yesterday and Lord oh to be a child before you this morning as we begin this new year in our church history yes God I thank you that I'm still alive many have left but they left with the message Go ye into all the world and preach this everlasting gospel to every creature. Every creature. Yes. Lord, give us strength for the day and faith for tomorrow. And as we come, be with us. Amen. I want to draw your attention for the purpose in which Jesus came. You know, sometimes life burdens get us down. But we have a Father in heaven that can be touched with our infirmities. The Christian second childhood. Jesus said we must take up the cross and follow him. This statement that Jesus made denotes that there was a problem from the past. And most often the problem of the present has its root cause in the past. But Jesus has a prescription in the present. The word from God. If we could recall, he reminds us that his word is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That is to say, the word you are hearing today is able to heal your yesterday. The problem, take up your cross and follow him. Jesus is passing by today. He is waiting for you to come to him as a little child. On his knees, you can find refuge. For in this life, if you live long, as many young people are dying today, you would find yourself in order to keep steps with 
The master, you must come as a little child. A little child leaning on the knees of Jesus, waiting to be touched, waiting to be blessed, and to be refilled by his love. During Jesus' mission here on earth, when he blessed the children, he stopped in the middle of his message in order to carry out his mission. On Jesus' mission, doing his Father's will, he said, if it be possible, being a child, many times we go to Jesus when we cannot do any better. <laughs> but as little children that abstract, up, upward, turn, hands. He, like little sparrows, we like little sparrows, we go to him at his knees. He in turn hold us with his loving arms. As he touched the children with his sensitive hand, but most of all, he blessed them with his compassionate heart. This morning, Lord, we come. We have so many needs. We have so many problems. But there is a relief for us at Jesus' feet. We came today for several purposes. We came to worship. We came for a blessing in our own way. Or find a special need. And as, a ch as children looking up to our parents, we come to get a touch from God through his son Jesus. And as always, he always gives us more than we expect. Today, we as adult children, I challenge you to become as little children as we begin this 22nd year. In the body of Christ, we come today to get another touch from God. And that I mean to start all over again. Children of God, oh, to be a child again before the Almighty God to allow yourself the kind of relationship with God that you may have missed as a child on the journey to this place. Jesus is saying, come, let me touch you. I love you to be a toddler in the presence of Jesus, let him hold you again. Hallelujah. Life has a way of wearing us down to our knees. And further down to the mat of time. Into our second childhood. That's one, writer said, after experiencing many hardships in life, and deception in his love affair on the journey. He said, oh, disappointment, one after another. He write this secular song. Before he found solace in God's holy word, he said when looking at his situation and knowing what was love before he found himself in a, this situation? He wrote a song which stated the contents of his life at that moment. Yes. He called it in his despair. He said, starting all over again, 
It's going to be rough. But God help us. We are going to make it. Hey, we need to say we may be starting all over again. Hallelujah. But God help us. We're going to make it. My sisters and brothers, life is a journey. And as we continue on this journey, if we live long, as so many people, they are going in their youth. We will find there are many bumps and roadblocks on the way, on this journey. But you know, on Jesus' mission, during his father's will, he said, if it be possible, being a child again, let this cup pass from me. This morning, you can imagine tiny hands outstretched, little faces upward turned, children perched like sparrows on his knees. He in turn held them with his loving arms, as he touched them with his sensitive hand, they felt his love. But most of all, he blessed them with his compassionate heart. Lord, we are as little children this morning. As children of the Most High God, we can touch Jesus. For a special blessing, a songwriter say, said in the written word and a song touching Jesus is all that really matters and your life will never be the same. Yes, we came to get a touch from God more than ever before. Jesus is passing by today. Will you give him your heart? Today, we as adult children, I challenge you to become a little child or children in the body of Christ. We come today to get another touch from God, and that I mean to start all over again. Oh, to be a child again before the Almighty God, to allow yourself the kind of relationship with God that you may have missed on the journey that you have traveled thus far. Young people, middle age, and the hearing of my voice, old people, life is like a mountain railroad with an engineer that sways. But despite the swears we must make the run successful from the cradle to the grave. Hallelujah. If we would discover the if we would discover the trend of the day, the trend this morning, we are seeing lots of sudden death. If the call should come today, are you ready? We have seen how Jesus held the toddler in his presence. So let him hold you on his knees. You can accept if you have missed your childhood dreams. You can climb up on his knees and be nurtured by his love. You can do that by accepting him today as a life partner and hearing how and learning how to praise him in your spirit. Today, young people, salvation is God's way of giving you a chance to start over again. He will not abuse you or the children who come to him by faith. There is such a security when you come to him believing that he is able to carry you through. Amen. To the very end, 
My beloved sisters this morning and brothers, bring your life, your decisions to God. Bring, let us fall on our knees and become as a little child. On the road, we find sometimes or we encounter unpredictable situations, situations that we never imagined would happen to us as a Christian. You know, a few Sundays ago, I listened to a preacher. I was so touched and broken, I felt it in my soul. And I said, no wonder Jesus made stipulation for the voice on life's journey and as a Christian. You know, before he made the statement, he said, I hate divorce. In the Old Testament, but in the New Testament, he said, he give a cause. All of you Bible scholars, you know, as well as I do, some unforeseen situation happen in the church. But you know, Jesus says, come to me, and I will guide you through the storms and strains of life. We have to depend and lean on the loving arms of Jesus. This morning, salvation is God giving you a chance to start all over again. He will not abuse you. The children that come to him by faith and repentance, give your heart to Jesus. He cares for you. When you do that, you will be safe in the arms of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Safe on his gentle breast. Thereby his love will overshadow you. And sweetly, your soul will rest. There is such security when you are safe in the arms of Jesus. I trust that you become secure in your relationship with him that you allow the past to fall from you as a garment. You will remember it, but you will choose not to wear it. To forget is not to develop amnesia. Amnesia is when you can't remember what has happened to you. The past to fall from you as a garment you will remember it, but you can choose not to wear it. To forget is not to develop amnesia. It is to reach a place in your Christian life where the misery is pulled from the memory. Like a stinger is pulled out of an insect bite. You know the insect has bitten you, but the sting is not there again. Once the stinger is gone, healing is inevitable. The memory will be as water that passed away. Job 11, verse 16. When we speak of David, we understand the after effect. We understand the after effect of deliverance. You will be delivered, my sister, my brother. God command us, as David said, you must give it all up. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalms 30 verse 5. Dearly beloved, I admonish you to start all over again. Start all over again. With God, all things are possible. Get it right. 
for he's coming back. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back. And when he calls you, it's your time he comes for you. Yes, that the church must be ready. He's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle or any such, without any such thing. Let's keep our garments clean. It is too easy to stain our wares on the way home. I beg all of you this morning, keep your garments clean. Yes, we in the body of Christ, as you see many of our people, they are falling away. They have the wandering Jew spirit. That is, to wander from here, there, and everywhere. But while we await his coming for his own, as I leave this podium today, he is coming back again. Yes. If the trumpet were to sound this moment, here's the midnight cry. Maybe it will be too late for you. I say to you, come up higher. There's a mansion awaiting for you. May the God of heaven bless you. Yes, heed the call. The clarion call is for you, and you, and you. This morning, I, as I stand here, there are lots of life experiences that we haven't experienced yet. But I was in a vision, and I saw a young man in a western Lee, southwestern bedroom. He was on his knees praying. And as I looked, I saw who it was. And I said, Lord, God is not the order of confusion. God is a God of order. Yes, and the Holy Spirit is saying to whoever that be, he said, wait on the Lord. Rest in him. And he shall bring it to pass. But he will deliver. He will deliver in due time. I say to all of you this morning. The scripture says the judgment begins in the house of the Lord. And as we look around. We see it's the last days falling away. But the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. Yes, the church is one foundation. And I want you to know, hell cannot rock this foundation. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Wait on the Lord, sister, brother. Be of good courage. And he will fix it for you. Yes, He's about to do something that you never imagined would happen. This morning, those of you on Radio Land, I want to say, whether it's morning, noon, or night, I'm waiting on my call. I'm waiting, I'm resting, and I'm assured that is a home, there is a home prepared. Where the saints of God who are going on, they're waiting. They're watching. Hallelujah. Be in time. Hear the voice of Jesus calling you this morning. Come as a little child. Do not linger. We need to start all over again. But you know, 
the writer. He wrote it as a secular song from the depth of his heart. He was so hurt. He was so broken. But he acknowledged God when he said, God help me. Because I'm going to make it. We're going to make it. Whether we believe it or not. Children of God. Stand firm on the word of God. We will overcome someday. On the resurrection morning, when all the dead in Christ shall rise, I'll have a new body. Hallelujah. I'll have a new life. Hey, yes, grapes all bursting, saints all shouting, ready to live in paradise. I'll have a new body. Praise the Lord, I'll have a new life. I'll have a new life eternal. A life where rust cannot rust. And thieves cannot break through and steal. Are you looking? Are you waiting to gain altitude and soar above all things? We need to. When we look at the house of God, we need to remember that he's coming back again. The falling away is already here. But God will take care. He said, let the wheat and the tears grow together until the day of harvest, and he will do the separation. So I say to you, the faithful ones, gain altitude. The Holy Spirit is talking to the children. Yes, he's saying, be careful. Be careful, we are living in the last day's time. You go out, but you may not come in. Learn to eschew evil and learn to do right. May the holy God of heaven bless you this morning. As a little child, Take up your cross and follow him. Follow Jesus, the Son of God, and he will surely give you rest. I want to say, I have been listening. Some days I'm up and some days I'm down. But I, as I said, I'll have a new body. I'll have a new home, eternal, where the redeem of God shall stand. And the naysayers and the yeasayers, keep your garments clean. For he's coming for a church without spot or wrinkle or any such thing. May God bless you. And... May his Holy Spirit keep you. And it doesn't matter what it is. You can go to God as a little child. God bless you. Thank you very much. Come on, let us put our hands together again for the mother of this church. Beautiful words of encouragement to the body of Christ this morning. Amen. 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 We are to come as little children. Yes. And that's why Jesus said to suffer the children. To come unto me and forbid them not. And, and, and when I heard um, um, Mother Butterfield call for this scripture, you know Deacon Floyd and I were discussing the same scripture last night. And I had called for her to get her topic, and I didn't. The phone just rang out. But she came with this very same scripture that Deacon Floyd and I. I don't know, it must have been the Holy Spirit that had us to go into that scripture. Uh, we, sat, we sat there, and we were discussing, you know, how Jesus said, suffer the little children to come to me. Amen. Suffer them to That That tells me today that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you. As a child, we are like children in his sight. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus loves you. He loves even me. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. I'm going to call the praise team to come right now and to lead us into a time of praise and worship, and then we will be dismissed. Praise team. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Heaven being, being blessed this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mother Butterfield, we thank you. Thank you for those wonderful words. We have been fed this morning. Our spirit has been lifted this morning. Hallelujah. We praise God for you today. We thank God for your strength. Hallelujah. As we come before him this time with our praise and worship. As we come before our, he is our friend this morning. The songwriter say, I found a friend. Oh, such a friend. He is a friend so true. He is a friend so kind and tender. He is a friend. He bled and he died to save us this morning. He is our all in all. Hallelujah. The songwriter say, he is the lily of the valley. He is the bright and morning star. He is the fairest of 10,000 to our soul. Come on, praise team. I just want us to lift our voice all over this building. As we sing the lily of the valley, that's what he is to us this morning. Hallelujah. I found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see. All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In sorrow is my comfort. In trouble is my stay. He tells me every care on him to roll. Hallelujah. He's the lily of the valley. The bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. He all my grief has taken. And all my sorrow born. In temptation he's my strong and mighty tower. I have all for him forsaken. And all my idols stored from my heart and now he keeps me by his love. Though all the world forsake me and Satan tempts me sore, through Jesus I shall safely reach the goal. Hallelujah, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. He will never, he will never, never leave me. Nor yet forsake me here While I live by faith and do His blessed will A wall of fire about me I've nothing now to fear With this manna He my hungry soul shall fill Then sweeping, then sweeping up to glory To see His blessed face Where rivers of delight shall ever roll Hallelujah, He's the lily of the valley the bright and morning star, he's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. He all my grief has taken, he all my grief has taken, and all my sorrows born. In temptation is my strong and mighty tall. I have all for him forsaken, and all my idols sore. From my heart and now he keeps me by his bar. Though all the world forsake me and Satan tempts me for, through Jesus I shall safely reach the goal. Hallelujah, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. And swimming up to glory, and swimming up to glory, to see his blessed face, where rivers of delight shall ever roll. Hallelujah, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. He's the fairest of 10,000. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. He's the fairest. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. He's the fairest. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, though all the world forsake me, and Satan tempt me sore. Through Jesus, I shall safely reach the goal. It's only through Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That Lamb of God this morning. He is our friend this morning. As we continue singing about this friend this morning. He loves you more than anything this morning. 
that he would give himself for you this morning he became poor that we would be rich this morning hallelujah he took on our Lord of sin that we could be light this morning that we can be free this morning and I want you to dance all over this building as we sing I'm a friend of God hallelujah come on clap your hands and sing who am I? Who am, who am I, I that you are mindful of me? That you hear me when I call? Is it true? And is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me? How you love me? It's amazing. It's amazing. Who am I? How you love me, how you love me It's amazing, it's amazing Yeah, 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 yeah I am a friend of God 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 He calls me friend I am a friend I am a friend of God I am a friend of God When I call Is it true? And is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me How you love me It's amazing It's amazing Yeah, 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 yeah I am a friend of God 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 He calls me friend A friend of God hallelujah God we thank you this morning Lord we thank you for being that friend to us this morning we can call you in the midnight hour we can call on you any hour of the day we can call on you when pain is rocking our body hallelujah we can call you when we are in distress you are that friend you are a friend that stick it closer than a brother this morning Lord we thank you for your faithfulness 
We thank you for your awesomeness. Hallelujah. We thank you because when you were on the cross, we all were on your mind this morning. We thank you for bringing us here this morning. God, we thank you because when we were not faithful to ourselves, you were always faithful, God. We thank you because you are awesome. Hallelujah. We thank you for your presence today, Lord. We thank you, God. We thank you because there are no other one that we can give thanks to this morning. You are the Alpha. You are the me Omega. You are the beginning and the end this morning. You are the first and the last. So we give you thanks. We give you praise. We come before you with gratitude this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you. Even when we are, were doing our own thing, God. You still love us, God. And so we want to say thanks, God. Thanks for all that you have done for us. Thanks for what you are about to do, God. And we give you thanks. And we give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your name. Before I close in prayer, I'm just going to ask all the ladies to stay back for a brief meeting. That's all the ladies. Please stay back for a brief meeting before I close up. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne, O oh God. Hallelujah. We can call you friend this morning. We can call you Lord. We magnify you, O oh God, for who you are. You are the great I am. And most of all, we call you master this morning. Most of all, we call you daddy this morning, God. We can come to you, daddy, as children. This morning, we thank you, Lord God, for your word this morning. We thank you for your woman servant who delivered your word this morning to remind us, Lord. We thank you, O oh God. We pray you strengthen her this morning, O oh God. Oh God, we pray, oh God, that you'll touch her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet this morning. Her family, Father God, and all that concerns her, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for your word, oh God, that reached my heart this morning. And know, God, that your word, oh God, will not return unto you void. Father, we thank you that we can call you daddy and we can humble ourselves and come before you, God. We can lay it all at the foot of the cross. Father God, we thank you, Lord God. Oh God, that you are God, that when we fall down, oh God, and we come humbly as children, oh God. Oh God, you forgive us of our sins, oh God. And we can rise again and declare that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And we can press on, Father God, to the finishing line. Oh God, for the race is not for the swift, nor the battle is for the strong. But oh God, it's for them that endures to the end. And we thank you, Lord God. Hold us, O oh God, in the hall of your hands. Keep us, O oh God, in the center of your will on this journey. O oh God, can we cannot do it by ourselves. O oh God, we need you every day. We need your guidance. We need your protection, Lord God, on this journey. Father God, keep us in your word, Lord God. We thank you, O oh God, for your saving grace. We thank you for your son, Jesus, that comes to set the captives free. And, oh, God, who you set free by your son is free indeed. And this morning we are at liberty and we just worship our Savior. We worship you, Daddy, this morning. We exalt you, Father God. Father God, as we go from this place and not from your presence, go with us, oh, God. And, oh, God, help us to go out and do great exploit for you, Father God. That soul will come, oh, God, to know you, Father God, and the pardon of their sins. Oh, God, be with us throughout the course of this week, oh, God, as you permit, Lord God. And bring us back together, O oh God. You permit your will, Lord God, to worship you, O oh God, and to, to seek your face, O oh God, in corporate worship. Have your way in our lives, Lord God, and we give you thanks for who you are. O oh God, you're almighty, you're all powerful, you're mighty to save, mighty to deliver, mighty to heal, to set the captives free. And there's no other God beside you and none like you. We honor you, O oh God, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ladies, please remember to stay back for a brief meeting. Thank you.
You have just heard the Victory in Christ broadcast with Reverend Dr. A.V. Butterfield. If this broadcast has been a blessing, just write Dr. A.V. Butterfield a note saying how much you've been enjoying the program here on Vic 96 FM. His mailing address is the Victory in Christ broadcast with Reverend Dr. A.V. Butterfield, P.O. Box 32, Providencialis, Turks and Caicos Islands. And tune in again next time for the broadcast, Victory in Christ, with Reverend Dr. A.V. Butterfield here on Vic 96.7 FM.